Hello and welcome to Hardware Asylum. We are once again working on the scam case. You may remember the scam case. This is the Workforce 386 that it got delivered to me in pieces. Well, inside is actually some pretty good equipment, including this 386 AMD 40 megahertz motherboard. It came with a Cyrix 487 DLC math code processor and actually has a socket here for a 486 DLC processor from Cyrix. Now I have tested this motherboard off camera and have determined that it works perfectly. I was able to populate four 30 pin sims here. The cache is actually active on the motherboard. The math code processor works great and uh, I'm probably going to get a DLC processor to plug in here. What I would like to do in this little segment is basically just kind of have a work log. We have a battery, a barrel battery, and this one did leak. Now this is something that I called out in the workforce video where the barrel battery that was on this motherboard did leak and did create a little bit of damage. For instance, on the keyboard socket here, it is kind of tarnished. This is supposed to be gold. There was a little bit of corrosion on some of these components down here. The hardest one hit was this crystal or something like that down in this corner. But I was able to put some vinegar on here and get everything cleaned up. There's just a little bit of tarnishing. And if you look back here on the power connector, there's a little bit of corrosion that's gotten left. There was a little bit of corrosion in this ISA socket. But there was no damage to the PCB itself. Everything works great. And what I'd like to do is basically just refurbish this board a little bit. But one of the changes is we have a vanity update to the keyboard connector. I have this gold one that I'm going to replace it with. We will be removing the barrel battery completely and we'll use this external pin connector to keep BIOS settings. There's a little bit of corrosion on these pins, so I have some replacement ones. And a little bit of corrosion down here on the PC speaker connection, which also can be replaced. Something that is broken on this board that I won't be fixing right away is these tabs on the 30 pin memory sockets. For instance, this one, it just flops around, it doesn't spring back. This one's twisted. We have a broken pin here, along with some of these here that don't actually spring back very well either. We can get replacements of these parts online and basically you would just desolder them here and replace them. But as you can see, the solder pads are extremely small and there's some thin traces there. I'm pretty good at soldering, but I don't know if I'm going to be, trust myself to remove these components and have the board working again. So instead, what I will be doing is just basically spending money at it. We'll be putting in a set of 16 meg 30 pin sims instead of these four one megers. And that will give us more memory than we'll be able to use. All right, after a little bit of work, we have a new gold keyboard connector. We have some fresh battery pins right there. And I even replaced the pins over here for the speaker so they're nice and shiny. Next step, we need to fire this board up, make sure that everything still works as it should, and find a battery. So the next step in this refurb project is to hook up a CMOS battery. And I found these. These are half AA batteries. They are 3.6 volts. 
and they're quite small. And ironically enough, the 3.6 volts matches the barrel battery that I took off of this 386. So I got a battery holder. It has a couple of leads on it. And we have a PC speaker tail. And what I'm going to do is attach it to the battery holder. And the, ben, the battery holder is going to be connected to this slot cover. Actually, it'll be connected like this. That way I can plug this into the machine and have the slot cover on my test bench. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that we have this wire looped over. Put BC trink on here, like so. That's going to fold over onto the side of the battery. And we get this black wire. Run it down through here. That will be pulled taunt. And then we take these wires and we will twist them all the way up. And then we'll take another piece of heat shrink. And run that up inside this one until it's about there. We'll go ahead and heat this up and that should cover up these two wires and make them a little bit stronger. Still leaving room to attach my double stick tape. And here we go. Well, this, this side exposed so you can see what side is positive and negative. And we have a bit of heat shrink all the way up and down. Makes it look kind of pretty. And there we have our refurbished 386. As you saw, I replaced the keyboard jack down here. Now it's nice and gold and shiny. I did replace the pins for the backup battery and this backup battery pack that I made and removed the barrel battery, which was here, so it didn't cause any more damage. And I replaced some pins down here for the PC speaker. There was a little bit of corrosion. This particular case lived on the East Coast where there's a fair amount of salt water in the air. Check back as we do more with this 386 build, including some double floppy drive gaming. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.